Hey, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics, and this is NBA Shooting Secrets, Gerald Green Edition. So the first thing that I love about Gerald Green's shot is his turn. On every shot he takes, his feet are either slightly turned or they turn in the air so that they land turned. The reason why this is so important is because it relieves the tension in his shoulders and his neck. This makes his jump shot incredibly fluid and one of the reasons why he has such great range on his jumper. One key that he's been able to do is adapt his turn no matter how he catches the ball. So on a jumper like this where he catches and he's pretty square to the basket, he's able to turn his feet in the air and land with them pointing away from the rim. So no matter how he catches the ball, he can still get a perfect turn, which that's one gripe that a lot of coaches have with the turn. So try different styles of the turn and see what works best for you because not everyone's going to be the exact same. Next, I want to talk about his textbook sweep and sway. Now, sweep and sway is a term coined by Coach Paul Hoover with the Pro Shot system, so I got to give him some love for that. And the sweep and sway is basically just the idea that as you shoot, your feet should sweep forward and your shoulders should sway backwards just slightly. I know a lot of coaches will see the sweep and sway and they'll say, I don't want my player shooting fadeaways, but it's not really a fadeaway because your shoulders are just gently relaxing to a comfortable position. So what's the key to the sweep and sway? Just make sure that you're landing closer to the hoop to when you took off on your shot. You can check if you're getting a good sweep and sway if when you shoot a three pointer if both feet are landing inside the three-point arc. Now you're definitely going to want to mess around with your sweep and sway and find exactly what's most comfortable for you. So experiment around with it a little bit. You might like jumping about three inches forward. You might like eight inches forward. Really play around with it and see what feels most comfortable to your own stroke. All right, so now we talked about what I love, but now let's talk about one little flaw that I noticed that if he improved, he probably increases consistency quite a bit. Now, Gerald Green is often referred to as a streaky shooter, meaning somebody will hit a bunch in a row, but then might miss a bunch in a row. And if you look at his three-point shooting percentage over the last four years, it definitely adds up to that. So I honestly think that if he fixed this one major mechanical flaw, he could be one of the most consistent shooters in the NBA. So what's the flaw? His low release angle. Let's watch him at a shoot around before a game. Now, you notice that the release angle of his ball is just a little bit low. We always like to talk about having your elbow above your eye on your follow through. Now with this quick clip, he makes three and he misses one. So you're thinking 75%, that's pretty good, right? So let's watch this clip again, but notice how he makes his makes and how he misses his misses. So first shot up, he makes it, but notice that his release is just a little bit low. Now it's kind of close and this camera angle makes it look a little bit higher than it actually is. Because of this low release, he gets less arc on his shot and it hits the front rim. Now it ends up rolling in in a make, but still it was close. Now his next shot, he still has a pretty low release, but he makes a nice adjustment in his legs to get more lift, so he hits this one. But in a game, how often you get two shots right in a row to make that adjustment? So on the next shot, we get a little bit of a low release and a snake bite, and thus he misses short again. And then finally the last shot, low release, again and it just barely grazes over the front of the rim hits the back hard and ends up rattling home all right so let's look more at a better angle check out of this shot when he releases the ball his elbow is most definitely not above his eye again causing him to miss short now this low release is probably the most common mistake that i see shooters of all ages and all skill levels make and it's one of the easiest mistakes to correct now what makes this even worse is the farther you get away from the basket the more it's going to affect your jump shot so if you bring flat arc out to the three-point line you're going to get even worse results now what's crazy is after doing all the research to make this video, I realized that every time Gerald Green gets hot, he's got a higher release. So all he has to do is train for a higher release and he's going to up his consistency probably overnight. So if I were you, I'd also check my release angle to make sure that my elbow is always above my eye on my follow through. Now the easiest way to do this is have somebody take a photo or a video of your shooting and you can either freeze it or slow it down so you can find out. Because sometimes it's a super minor adjustment and it can make all the difference. All right, don't forget if you're also new to shot mechanics, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, pop that subscription button below because we're putting out four to five videos every week and I want to get you better. Number two, click the annotation above or the link in the description to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. There are secrets just like this that you can add directly into your game and increase your shooting percentage overnight. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.